Hello, it's Karen Berniston here with a video preview of the nine new dies in our September 2023 release. And you can check out all of our die designs at KarenBerniston.com. So sometimes you need to get into a small space with a greeting and our new small script Halloween is going to be perfect for that. So you've got Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat, Hocus Pocus, the shadows come included, but of course they are optional. And then we have Halloween borders. Now these are five and a half inches on the length, but easily repeatable by just cutting multiples. You do get the solid pumpkins as well, so that'll carry on beyond Halloween, as well as the bones, which I really think you could use for your dog cards. We have a new Halloween-themed character and accessory set called Witch and Cauldron. What's nice is that the witch can be assembled into different poses, and in addition, you get a lot of components for your witch's brew, and those can be used independently as well. So things like frog's legs and bones, eyeballs, spiders, those all come in that set. You can also use the pieces from those Halloween borders independently by just chopping them apart. So here's a great cupcake landscape accordion by Jen Webster where she has used those borders as individual elements. Okay, moving on to Christmas. There is a small script Christmas set as well. So that one has Merry Christmas, Holly, Jolly, Greetings, and Ho Ho Ho. And then there are two new sets of Christmas borders because I couldn't fit everything that I wanted to do into just one. So in the first set, Christmas Borders 1, you've got gingerbread men, peppermint candies, ornaments, and Christmas lights. And those are all five and a half inches long, but with both of these sets, you can absolutely elongate those by just cutting multiples and butting them up next to each other. Christmas Borders 2 includes stockings, candy canes, and mittens on the borders, but then also some layering pieces like snowflakes and hearts and an individual candy cane. You can see those borders and the small script used here on the front of this card. So the borders are a great way to fill in the front of your pop-up cards. And then this one includes a new pop-up, which is our stocking pop-up. It's always fun when pop-ups have motion. So this one is great because it's got the stocking itself on its own pop-up, but then there's a secondary one in the back that lifts items up and out. You can see also the small script and those borders used here. Now this is one of those sets that you're going to use year round because the mechanism in it is so generic. It's also slimline friendly. That's just a little three and a half inch square card there. You can mess around with which area has the slide out pop up. So like in this case, I have it on the left side popping up in the downward position. You can use other die sets on it. So here's the witch and cauldron used with the mechanism from the stocking pop up. And then now my witch's brew comes up and out of the cauldron. Now here's a good example of doubling the mechanism. So Sue Small Crider on our design team used a top fold card put two of the stocking mechanisms in there and you can see that she's got two slide out pumpkins, one at the top left, one at the bottom right, and then she used one of our pop stand dies to animate the witch and cauldron. The other thing you can really see on this one is, again, how that small script can be used in small spaces. So here's the hocus pocus used without the shadow, but fitting perfectly on that doubled stocking pop-up mechanism. In this next card by Sue, it's a birthday card, Seize the Day. And then she's decorated the upper pop-up with just pattern paper that lines up with her background. And then on the slide up portion of that stocking pop-up is the sea turtle die. So you can use the mechanism without the stocking, but you can also use the stocking without the mechanism. So here's a Christmas card by Sue, the stocking on the front with the jolly small script. Then she has those ornaments border, as well as the Christmas string of lights that's on our Christmas tree pop-up. So you can absolutely use these dies now to bring new looks to those ones that came before. And all the new Christmas dies really work well together. You can see that in this card by Lois, stocking pop-up, Christmas borders one, small script Christmas. Okay, I wish I had this one in person to show it opening and closing, but Jen Webster used the stocking pop-up to be able to animate Santa Claus coming up and out of the chimney. Jen also used the stocking mechanism to animate this cute snowman card where she's got snowflakes on acetate that pop up from behind the snowman. The other new pop-up in this release is our oven pop-up. So this one makes a very cute kitchen with an oven and some countertops next to it, but then also the oven itself opens and then you can put maybe a sheet of cookies or something in there. We already offer a Your Sweet die set, so I used that for the greeting on this card. And then on the front, I mixed in some of our baking charms from the last release. So a perfect example of how our dies all work together throughout the different releases. But in this release, there is a new oven extras die set. This has all sorts of items to go on the counters and in the oven, as well as all of your backsplash and upper cabinets, but then also these three little box pop-ups. 
So here's a card combining the oven pop-up with the oven extras, and you're going to see the extra detail that's in it from the back wall decorations with the hood and the cabinets, but then those little pop-ups used behind the mixer and the pot. You can also use that little box pop-up to animate one of the oven racks and put it up a little higher. You can see the turkey in the oven for this one. The extras are just extras, so they're going to give a more elaborate look to the kitchen, but you can make a great card with just the base die set. You see that back here in the Your Sweet card. I just used cookie sheets for upper cabinets. This card by Sue Small Crider says, there's a bun in the oven. And then when you open it, she's used the oven pop-up. I love that holographic paper she used for the burners and the hood. On the front of the oven, it says open to reveal gender. And then inside the oven door, it says it's a boy and there's a blue cupcake in the oven. So cute, cute, cute idea. Another card from Sue where she used the oven and the oven extras flat on the front of the card showing that she's baking some gingerbread. That's a clue. It says ho, ho, ho with the small script. And then inside, she has made a gingerbread tiny house. So really, really can use these new dies. Look at those borders used perfectly on the inside of that card to give new looks to those previously released dies. Hi, Barbie. What a great idea by Sandy Diller to make a dream kitchen using the oven pop-up and the oven extras. I absolutely love it. Now on this card by Nikki Foden, you may not know from the front or even the first panel who these little children are, but once you open it, you certainly are. I love this. Look at the styling on that back wall of Nikki combining lots of different dyes for a wonderful, wonderful kitchen. And then she's used a BAM box to animate the witch. For this Halloween kitchen card, Sue Small Crider used the swirls pattern plate with all of the pieces from the witch and cauldron on the front. Hocus Pocus. And then inside, it's a happy Halloween card. The witch is animated using a BAM box pop-up. And then she has the oven and the oven extras. I like how she added the little skulls from the Halloween borders inside the bread pan. And then she has brooms on the wall, a different kind of range hood. I mean, lots of ways that you can customize the look of these kitchens. And I like that she's got kind of a spooky brew in the pot on the stove as well. And then finishing out with this wow card by Frances Byrne, where she actually doubled it and has a double oven in her kitchen using the oven and the oven extras. You bake me happy. I mean, how cute is that? These nine new dies will be available on our website, karenburniston.com, starting September 18th, 2023. Stores are able to order immediately, and we do ship to the stores first. Now, if you are interested in education with our die sets, we do offer a Zoom program through stores and a YouTube program quarterly on our website. Check our events page on karenburniston.com for more information about that. Thanks for watching.